Oh, what's up, everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean, and today is Friday, which means I got to talk about some music resource tool or strategy. And today we're talking all strategy. How do you get your very first music fans? Now, there's a lot of people who ask me this question, and there's a lot of ways to come into the game. There is no one way. There is no five ways to get into the game. There's a lot of ways to get into the game and start building fan bases per se, but we're gonna narrow it down to some things that could just matter for people who have no resources and very few, or if none, in terms of connections. Now there's three of these, but number one is join a community and add value. So many people spend so much time trying to build a following. How can I build a following? How can I build a community around me? But they never think of simply adding value to other communities. And that's how you build yourself and how you build your brand. Now there's two types, right? You can do the online or physical world and both of them can work for you. Obvious ones are like being in college or high school and you have these physical people around and building your brand with these people and transferring them to online follows. Or you can join a fraternity if you're in college, right? There's, if you're at church, there's so many types of physical communities, some kind of organization you can build parties or some kind of event series and brand yourself at the center of that just as the person involved in the community. Right now we're just building who you are, your name, and then later on you'll be flipping that into your music. But first you have to get people to know you and just add value to them in their lives and that goes the same for these online forums. People don't believe it. I've said it again and again. You can build your brand and get audiences from online forums. I'm glad to have an interview coming up with a guy named Malone. He's basically done this. These guys, him and his um, buddy Michael, both of them have basically said, hey, not only are we going to join these forums and contribute to these forums, they're even admins for some of these forums, which means if you guys have been involved in forums before, you know that the most popular and powerful people in the forums are the people who are the admins because they can choose if somebody's comment can be deleted or not, if it's approved or not. But that's still adding value in curating the community, positioning yourself. And the most important in all of these, whether it's online, offline types of communities, is consistency. I'm not going to be able to say this enough because I know a lot of people will not believe it. A lot of people refuse to just do this. But the number one hack for building an audience from scratch with very few resources is simply being consistent. And you cannot transfer these people into followers of you if you are not simply consistent because you won't have a brand. Brands do not exist without consistency. So if you think about branding, take that concept, take the picture of having this metal, right? And then putting it in the fire to brand the cows so they could put the symbol on the cows and show that they own these cows. So wherever the cow went, it took that brand that was burned into its skin with it. Take that same concept and think about your brand. Brands have to be consistent because you're not going to literally burn a hole in somebody's brain, but you have to constantly pound, pound, pound your brand, your existence until they can't forget you or they remember you a lot more than at least they originally did. That's how the brands exist and build up, right? I'm not going to forget Beyonce, but I can listen to an artist for three days straight that I just discovered today and give myself a year if I never hear from them again and never see their name again. I just might forget them. So if you do these, they all work, whether that's just starting a party series or whether that's just being popular in school or just being positioned in an online forum, add value, add value, but do this consistently. I'm telling you it works. And I, once again, I have an interview coming up with a guy. I actually discovered him in the forums. He never asked me to listen to his music or anything like that. I just saw him in a forum, clicked his page, and then fell into the rabbit hole just like anybody else. It works. Number two, hack attention and add value in the white space. Now, what exactly do I mean by that? It's similar to number one, except for joining a community. Specifically, what you're doing is basically just hacking attention, getting in front of people and adding value in some form of fashion. Bunk is a perfect example of this, right? He added value by entertaining people. He did the whole Bunk gang thing and I guess he still does it every once in a while. But the point is he got people's attention. His goal was to transfer it into a rap career. Is that working? Hey, I don't know. 
But there's a lot of people who have hacked attention in a lot of ways. They've done it through comedy. They've done it through, I don't know, kind of lessons or rap lessons. There's a lot of different ways. Just find some kind of unique talent that you can provide to constantly get people's attention. Some people just start off blogging and they're vlogging or they're doing commentary or making fun of people, roasting people online and figure out how to transfer that into a rap career or at least having a certain level of rap fans but again just like number one you have to do this consistently because you have to have these people become fans of you and your brand the brand is never going to occur if you are not doing it consistently and you got to build it it just is what it is number three engage with people who are likely to be your fans What's that mean? We're just talking about simply finding an artist that's in your realm that you think would typically like your music. Artists quit lying to yourselves for the most part and saying that I'm completely different than everybody else. Nobody sounds like me. We all have similarities at the end of the day. I'm very much like my sister and brother, but at the same time, I'm very different from them as well. It's not that big of a deal. Just find somebody who has a similar audience that you would like to be your fan base. That means if you're a lyrical rapper, find a lyrical rapper, go to them on Instagram, and then go to all their fans and engage with all their fans on Instagram, whether that's DMing them, whether that's just liking their pictures and making comments and do that one by one if you don't have money you got to use time you got to spend that time it takes long it is a very tedious process but we're just talking about building those very first fans the work cannot be avoided everybody's looking for some hacks and the only people who are moving and getting ahead of them are the people who are being consistent we're not talking about having big time connections here we're just talking about building it from ground zero these three ways are very simple ways that if you tell people, most people are not going to do it. I know most people are not going to do it consistently because it takes work and it's tedious, it's boring, you do not see the results immediately. There's a lot of other ways to grow your fan base in terms of collaborations and paying to get on certain outlets and things like that. But we're talking about number one, just beginning to get fan number one, two, three, four, five through 10 and keep going from there. So start with these one through three things. If you have the time and you put in that work and you have a solid quality of music, doesn't even have to be the best. You will begin to gain some fans. And if you do number one and two, and for some reason your music is just super trash and people never want to listen to your music, you will still have a brand built with a solid following that you can convert into other things that you want to try later on. Hope that was helpful for you guys. Other than that, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you like it, you might as well share it. And if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.